Good morning, FHS. I'm Ivan Santos. Emily, the part-time FHS student, was not able to come today. Anyways, now to the pledge. Please stand. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of United States of America and to the republic of which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. A big congratulations to the football team who won this past weekend. Moving on with the news, only one third of the students have purchased insurance for their school laptop. Students, it is vital that you purchase the insurance for your laptop. Some of the repairs cost well over $300. You may be careful with your laptop, but are your classmates? The insurance is only $25 and can be purchased at the bookstore. Now let's go to sports with Violet. Good morning, hot dogs. The Lady Golfers competed at the Yulin Invitational on Saturday. Sydney Caesar led the way with an 85. Emily Shipley followed with a 102. Raylan Mitchell finished with a 116. Congratulations, girls. The cross-country team finished 7th out of 13th teams in the Danville 5K, defeating conference opponents Danville and Tri-West while falling to Lebanon and Western Boone. The girls' team is now 3-2 and two versus conference opponents. Top finishers were Karina Alanis, placing 6th overall while lowering her 3rd fastest FHS time in school history to 2012, and Alexis Reed finishing in 37th place out of 75 runners. The boys' cross-country team finished in 5th place out of 16 teams, defeating conference opponents Danville, Western Boone, and Tri-West while also falling to Lebanon. The boys' team is now 4-1 versus conference opponents. Top finishers were Angel Perez in 11th and Daniel Pritchett in 12th out of 94 runners, both with the time of 18-28. Tonight at home, the boys' tennis will have a match versus Kokomo starting at 5, so make sure to come support the dogs. Girls Volleyball has an away game tonight versus Peru High School, starting at 6, so don't forget to cheer on the Lady Hot Dogs. Let's take a break, and now to Ivan. Thanks, Violet. Good luck to the tennis team tonight. Friday's trivia answer was obviously the Hot Dogs. Congratulations to Carly Roberts, who was the first person to get it right. I'm glad many students and staff show their school spirit. Today's trivia is, what was the top speed of Hurricane Irma? This hurricane was massive. Since we have time, the weather today will be a high of 82 and a low of 65. Now, let's go back to sports with Violet. On Saturday, the girls' soccer team played host to Rossville, Twin Lakes, and Tri-Central in the annual Lady Hot Dog Invite. The day kicked off with the Lady Hot Dogs playing county rival Rossville in the early morning match. The goals came from a lot of different players, with several of them scoring their first career varsity goal. The win moved the Lady Hot Dogs into the championship game against the winner of the Tri-Central vs. Twin Lakes game. This was the first time since the 2012 season that the Lady Hot Dogs have won their own invite. The win moves the Lady Hot Dogs 4-1 on the season, with their next game coming on Wednesday when they travel to Sheridan for a varsity game. The football team has made improvements and grown every week over the past two years. The seniors that have come before made tremendous sacrifices as they worked to rebuild this football program. That hard work and sacrifice paid off Friday night in a 52-12 win over Clinton Prairie. Our guys believed in their ability, had confidence in each other, and focused on the details to end a 1,050-day famine. Riley Goodnight led the offense with the 266 total yards and four touchdowns. The defense was led, led by Vlad Carreras, who did it all. He had 10 tackles, four tackles for loss, a sack, a fumble recovery, and a blocked punt. Ivan Duarte had the ball snapped over his head, when they tried to punt and ended up taking 60 yards for a touchdown. Dakota Bailey also added his first career PAT. Good job, guys. That's it for sports. Now back to Ivan. Thanks, Violet. Congrats to the girls' soccer team for the big win. They definitely deserve that trophy. For lunch today, it will be a hamburger with fries. Also, a happy birthday goes out to Alexis Angelis, Pedro Lopez Hernandez, Brenton Macias, and Skylar Phillips. That's it for today's news. Make sure to mask up and stay safe.